another brick fan here with a Minecraft poly bag. This is the Skeleton Defense. This is set 30394, was released in September 2020, has 31 pieces, two minifigures, and cost about $5 when it was released. This is the second Minecraft poly bag that I've seen, and although I don't collect this theme in a general sense, I do like the poly bags. This one has two minifigures, which I always appreciate in a poly bag, and it has a small action feature as well. Let's go ahead and get this built, and then we'll take a closer look. Here's the completed build, and you see it's just a small scene with our hero behind the wall here, and then a skeleton out front. I really like how the Minecraft theme fits with Lego. Obviously, it's an 8 bit kind of look, you know, with all of the really blocky effects that you see in Minecraft, which obviously fit really well in with the Lego bricks. Let's take a quick look at the two minifigures. First up we have the skeleton. This is a typical skeleton minifigure that we've seen for quite a while and been used in many sets. The difference here is this square head, which is obviously spot on for Minecraft. It does have a bow and arrow here as well, but it, as you can see, it's not the same bow and arrow piece. It definitely looks more pixelated, which is of course keeping with the Minecraft theme as well. So I think that's really well done as a theme for this set. Here's our hero, and once again, it's just a regular minifigure. The printing obviously has that kind of 8-bit effect, or that blocky effect here on the front. Once again, a block head, which is just a square block, which fits definitely into the theme. All hard edges on these Minecraft-themed... All hard edges on these Minecraft-themed sets on the printing and everything. You see just a plain orange here for the hair, and then more of that block printing on the back. Like the bow and arrow, this axe is definitely doesn't have any smooth lines, no curves. It's all very blocky and keeping in with that Minecraft theme. Taking a closer look at the terrain that comes with this, you see a couple of little details here. There's some plants growing out here. It looks like a little pool of water. Maybe it's a, to represent a little waterfall off the side of the castle. A little bush over here, perhaps. There is a friction shooter here. So you can push that to launch this out of the castle as part of the defense mechanism. And then just a very simple wall built up here to represent the perhaps one of the little cupolas or little defensive positions on a larger structure. It all fits well together. You get this really good theming of the set. Overall, a nice representation of the Minecraft world here in Lego. You get the two nice little minifigures to make for a little interesting play set. There's enough feature here to give you the impression of what they're trying to go for with the Kind of a defensive position. The little friction shooters there don't really work all that great, but you know, the flick fire missile is really, I suppose, the proper term for it. Um, they don't work great, but they do introduce a little bit of a play feature in with a set. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this Minecraft poly bag. I'm going to get started on another video, and until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I've got content coming out all the time. I've also left a link to my polybag playlist up here on the screen.